We're going to talk about this for about 20 minutes or so with real exercise. So what do you have to do for model building? I think most of you have done identify earnings driver, right? So it's done, right? Now based on that, you have to make a business forecast. Okay? And this is the order you have to make. A presentation material can be up here, but you know, you gotta finalize here, so let's do this way. So first you have to make income statement. You have to make a retained earnings and then financial ratios. Balance sheet and presentation. This is order. Okay? Don't do a balance sheet first before you income make an income statement. You have to make an income statement first, make a retained earnings, financial ratio, and brush. Yeah. So you want like forecasted income statement? Yeah. Okay. Those are forecast. Okay? And uh, we're going to use an example of the McDonald's today. And uh, the company has two business units company and restaurant and franchising fees. And assume that you identify the growth in Acmea, Asia, Pacific, Middle East, and Africa. And you have to determine where the growth comes from. And assume you got the growth that comes from a company or restaurant. Okay, so you find, identify for the business units Finding what the gloves are coming from, you check it. Okay? Okay. And uh, on the uh, I already uploaded these files and uh, this is just example, so I mean, some of the data you can use it, some are not, but this is an example. Like, uh, same thing, this is from a attached Excel sheet, so you can take a look later. So, assume that this is a historical data, okay, US, Europe, Armenia, and uh, other countries. And uh, this is company open sales. So those are shaded area you put on your forecast model, growth rate of each country. And note that we talk about Apinia is a growth driver, right? So make sure if you think this Apinia is growth driver, growth rate is much higher than other regions, okay? And uh, this franchise sale revenue, we talk about later, but first of all, this is company-owned store sales. These are goals you did, you input, and then you, know, you calculate these numbers, okay? And this can be, you know, uh, by business units, like a Pepsi, drink, and food, and international, or that, or uh, Amoeba, uh, FX, investment, so forth, depends on the company, right? So you just make this kind of, you know, Excel sheet. Franchise sales, same thing. You put the gloves, right? And then note that I didn't share it here, but this is very important for those companies doing the franchise business. Royalty margin and franchise ratio. You want the McDonald's to grow. Company is believed that 
they want to do grow from a franchise business. So that's why you know the loyalty is lower. Another uh, compared with euro per US, but growth is there. And uh, you know how much? These are your assumptions. Okay. So you got first you got to put the growth rate, and you can imagine your margin and uh, franchise ratio. I don't even have to put the shade sign, but these you have to make assumption. You can change it if you like. And the company so far has been very steady for many, many years, so I put the same numbers. But if you think somehow margin is going to increase, you can change it as you like. 